Alright, this is my desktop and I'll try to log in. As you can see over here, um, I didn't do anything and uh, with this script over here, it's automatically um, booting or starting a virtual machine that's Ubuntu over here as you can see and um, I'll just show you how to automatically start a guest operating system uh, when you start the host operating system when you start the PC and, um, and also how to shut down the virtual machine um, obviously using VMware when you are trying to shut down your host machine yeah I got you one two and now I'm just gonna this is uh, a bat file and um, there's something in there which I'm gonna show you and I'm just gonna run it as administrator right and um, as you can see over here I just run the script it's turning it off it's turning off the virtual machine and now it's gonna turn down the PC right it's turning down or shutting down um, Windows 7 right I'll show you how I did that Assalamu alaikum. As you have already seen the crappy demonstration, let's move ahead with the tutorial. You need to install a package um, VMware VIX, which you can get um, at VMware.com. Visit the website, download the package. You have to register first, and then you can download the package. After logging in, um, that will be around 70 MB, I guess. And we are going to use VMRen.exe. This utility, it's a command line utility where you can control virtual machines um, so first we are going to use the start command and then we are going to use the stop command uh, we will be creating some bat files and we are going to place the first file uh, in my startup folder as I've got this file over here ubuntu.bat so every time the system starts it executes this whatever you know is there in that um, bat file or the command so here's the command C program files uh, then in location to the vmrun.exe within double quotes um, then a space start again space and uh, location to your vmx file so I got the ubuntu.vmx being my virtual machine close the file save it in .bat uh, the extension extension would be .bat and place it restart your machine and see whether whether your virtual machine starts automatically ah one more thing before that um, after installing a VMware VIX, you have to do a small um, change over here. VIX wrapper dot config uh, this file. You have to change the default value will be 3.0.0. So if your version of VMware Player is 3.0.0, you keep it to the default. If it is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, or 0 0.2, change it to the to that value right um, and then just save it you might uh, have to or you might want to copy this file to the desktop change the um, you know change the number save it back save it and then drag it back uh, to the VMware VIX folder after doing that see whether uh, the script works or not if it's working then you can move ahead with the second step that is to create a shutdown script So here's the shutdown script. Let me uh, let me show you what I have in there. So it's the same command except uh, the start. I've got stop in here, and also a soft switch at the end. The soft switch would, uh, will help you to shut down the virtual machine or the guest machine safely. Or without the soft command, it will just pull the power. It's like just pull the cable and shut down the PC. It's more like that. It will turn it off automatically or forcefully, and this will the soft command will turn it off safe safely.
yeah and then the shutdown command so it will just uh, execute this command first and it, then it will go on and you know, proceed to the second uh, line and it will shut it down as you have already seen it so that's it um, yeah Ubuntu tutorials coming up soon <laughs> I gotta go